I look cute. <laughs> Hey Retro Babes, welcome back. It's Gooby. I am your favorite Afrofuturistic alien, your favorite YouTuber, your favorite Retro Babe. And we're back with a tutorial. I don't do makeup tutorials as much anymore because I don't know, I don't think people were filling them, but like I posted my 3D brows tutorial on um, YouTube as a short and you guys seem to love it. So I thought I'd do a more detailed version. In this version, I'm doing blue brows. I did this brow look for um, Comic-Con. I dressed up like a fairy because I really didn't have a cosplay. And I was like, well, let me just go all out with my makeup and then that just be the costume since I'm a makeup artist. I actually got a lot of compliments on it. My sister, she looked at me and she's like, you should really do a tutorial for this. And that's how I did the one that became a short, but we're gonna do a longer one. If you guys haven't already, subscribe. If you're feeling me, if you like me, you might as well subscribe. I have tons of videos. I'm gonna have tons more. Um, let's get into this. All you need for this tutorial are these type of brushes. So I hate when people don't tell me what type of brushes to use. These type of flat-ish brushes. I have different ones. This is like an angled one. This one's specifically for a concealer. This one's old. It's a flathead, but it's also used for concealer. And this is my new favorite brush to do brows with. It's actually a lip brush. It's so easy to do your brows with if you really wanna uh, make a new shape for your brow. Like this is for like more if you want like natural looking brows. And then these are just to clean it up. Your favorite concealer. This one is like more yellow based. And then I also have my e.l.f. one. It's more like regular orangey concealer. So I might just mix these two and use them on my face. I also have the Fit Me Concealer. This is the most natural one if I'm going for like a natural beat. Um, but I, I've noticed this one doesn't have good coverage. It just has a good pigment. So sometimes I just mix all three depending on my mood. And then the last thing you need, the star of the show, I was sent a PR box from Urban Decay and it's huge. And it's their 24 seven inks. And it's so cute. I think some of them fell. Yeah, actually a lot of them fell. So I'm gonna take them out. So this is what the packaging looked like. It was so cute. And basically the idea, you see ones in here already, ones right here, is that you spin it and whatever colors it lands on, you create a look with it. But with these, you always wanna shake first and then apply. And that's what it looks like. So this is high energy. I'm just gonna do a couple swatches for you guys. This one's called Deep End. A lot of these are like um, greens, yellows, whites, and browns. I do wish there was more of a shake selection. I wish there was like pinks and oranges, but I guess for like a first launch, these are the colors we've got, and there's, let me count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them. So there's eight of them. Let me just show y'all. That's what it looks like. They're pretty vibrant, even though I look kind of ashy on screen, I'm not. When they dry, they're smudge proof, they are waterproof. So girl, you can wear these and cry and you will be okay. <laughs> Because bitches be emotional. I'm bitches. They're supposed to be smudge proof. So, yep. Okay, and the last thing I forgot to say that you need is your eyeshadow color, obviously. So, for today, I'm going to use the Powerpuff Girl palette from ColourPop. And I done use this palette to death. I love these colors. I'm going to be concentrating mostly on the blue and the green color today. You just want to take your brush that you do your eyebrows with. Like I said, I use my lip brush. And then let me just zoom you guys in. I'm gonna use the blue. And we're just gonna shape the eyebrow. You can definitely, if you need a guideline, you can outline your eyebrow like you normally do with a brown. I would suggest a brown liner. And then just lightly to outline it so you don't like make any mess ups and you can map out where you wanna put your um, blue eyeshadow. Or you can use a white, um, 
a white pencil and that way it could be a good base and it'll make the color pop more. So I just like to go in with the color and just pack it in. That's just me. And I just tap it. I tap to get the color in and then I just drag it out. Tap and drag it out. And then this one for today, I think I'm just gonna follow my natural brow shape. And like, I've been seeing the girlies do more thin brows. I normally overdraw my brows because I like really thick ones. So today I'm just gonna do a thin one. This is thin for me. Um, and then just doing the other side, same thing, tapping and dragging. That's super easy. Like I said, if you don't, if you have less brows than me, you can definitely um, outline it with white or or brown, and then do this. And if you have thicker brows where your hairs are like a little bit more coarse, which I'm jealous of you, girl, you can outline it with white as like a base so that the colors really shine through your eyebrow hairs. You can also do this with um, eyebrow pencils that are colorful. I've seen people do that, that's just not my thing. I feel like this works just as well and uses up less product. So yeah, your eyebrows, damn, bam. You could honestly stop here, but we're not going to. Now you wanna take your concealer and clean it up. Using a flat brush as angle, I actually prefer my brushes to be a little bit more pinched than that. This one's old, so that's why it's like that. And then I'm gonna use my e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer Satin Finish in the color Deep Olive. I find that colors that have more of an orangey tone to it help color correct the blue or whatever color eyeshadow I'm doing. And also, if I neglected to do my eyebrows it helps um cover any straggly eyebrow hairs until i get to do my brows next so yeah you're just going to take a little bit and you guys know how to do your brows this is basically just doing your brows i'm sure you've seen tons of videos on how to do brows same thing you're just using a different color that's all I just like the style of my brows to be really exaggerated. Look at that, look at the difference. So what I like to do is take a little bit of the concealer on the tip and then I make lines in the beginning of the brow. I don't know why I like doing this, but I've been, I've been doing this for years. It gives the illusion far away that your brows are more hair-like than they are. Okay, now here comes the fun part. We're gonna focus on the blue and green liners because it goes with the blue in my eyebrows. And I think I wanna go in with the green one first. Like I said, you gotta shake, shake, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. And this color is called Mucho Mucho. It honestly is a yellow green. It's like a neon green. There's a darker, more vibrant green. So I'm just gonna see how I feel about this one first. Yeah, this is straight yellow. I'm just making hair like strokes in the brow. So you see the difference. Okay, sometimes it goes out, you just shake it again, the product will show. I take the blue, this color is called Binge. In between. It's really like more vibrant, more dimensional, and I love that. It's dry just a little bit before I add the black because I don't want the colors to bleed into each other. You can also dry your brows and then layer them with more color, which is what I might do right now. This one is called Freak. This green, we're gonna layer that. Oh yeah, that's the green we want. Yeah, y'all, y'all. It's called Zero. 
And with black, I've been doing this for years and it just became my trademark thing. It's just outlining the outer two thirds of your brow with black. Even if you don't want to add the blue and the green like I did, if you just want to put the shade that you want to wear and outline with the black, that looks 3D and good too. It gives like pop art vibes. So we're just going to outline with the black and and this is what's really gonna make your brows pop dramatically. Yeah, the shape I'm not a fan of. I think I fucked up the shape, but we're already here, so we're gonna keep it. The last, last step, if you wanna add some razzle dazzle, is you can put black strokes in the brow hairs, and this will definitely pipe it up and you want to be very, very light-handed with this. You don't have to do too much. You see how that's looking versus this? It's just preference. Whichever one you prefer, you can do. I'm going to do the rest of my makeup and backup so you guys can see the full effect. So I ended up finding the white color called Ozone. And I just wanted to show you guys how these colors look when they're dry. They don't smudge. They're supposed to be waterproof. I just licked my hand and wiped. I love these type of brows. This is like my new favorite um, brow routine. It makes my makeup look so good. I feel like it makes my melanin pop. If you guys want details on the hair, it's a mullet. I definitely did a video on that so you guys can check that out. And I actually, in that video, I wore these exact brows that I just showed you. Check that video out. You guys let me know if you would use these liners. Um, I really do like them. They are a little annoying where you have to like shake them a lot, but I kind of actually like that they're a felt tip. I like that they're very like pointy and precise. They're super easy to use and they're very vibrant. And just look at the results. Like the proof is in the pudding, bitch. Proof is in the pudding. I even used the black liner to outline my lips today. I look cute. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe and also, if you guys want to support me, I have a new shop called Pretty Veronica Clothing that you guys can shop from. I have a lot of merch, I have stickers, I have prints. Everybody who receives them seems to love them and it just makes warms my heart. And I just love packaging orders for you guys and it just, I don't know, makes my whole world. And yeah, you guys are amazing and <laughs> don't forget to check that out and have a great day.